Hello everybody, it's Bruno from Big Bang Cooking. Today I will show you how to use the Cafe Roma from Reveal. This is my espresso maker for a couple of years now and uh, I really love it. It makes great espresso and it's really really simple to use. So I'll show you how to make a coffee with it. First step, you have to turn it on. So as you can see, uh, both lights turned on. This is the orange light that says eating there. You have to wait until uh, this one goes off. Once it's off, it means that uh, the machine is hot enough and you can make your coffee. So in this time, you can just prepare your, uh, your coffee. It takes about maybe a minute. So with the machine comes two cups. One for single espressos and one for double espressos. I always use the double espresso. Uh, it also comes with a small tapper like this. Uh, and this other end is a, a spoon usually, but the, mine broke, so I, have, I bought another spoon. So you put around two spoons of coffee in this don't put too much too much coffee because if you put uh, too much coffee a little bit uh, less than two spoon is needed actually so uh, as you can see, I like to leave enough space uh, in this cup because if you if you put too much, when you come to lock it there, it won't lock fully, and uh, it can make some messes. It it happened like uh, two times or three times that this thing fall off right in my coffee that was ready underneath it, and the coffee went all over my counter so it's really not fun to make such a mess so also another point is that you don't have to push super hard on it i know that with some espresso machines you have to push really hard with this one you don't really have to do it so this light uh got off so it's ready to use you simply put it there and you twist it and you lock it like this. Make sure that you have some water in the reservoir. So mine is almost full. Uh, if you need to put water, you simply have to take it out like this. There's a small handle. You fill it with water and then you put it there. You simply push gently down. That's it. So now we're ready. Now we're ready to make a delicious espresso. All you have to do is to turn this button towards this end, the small cup of coffee. The other one is to uh, prepare some milk. So let's do it. I'll just make a long, a long espresso uh, for today. Uh, if I wanted an espresso, I would have stopped like maybe 10 seconds ago. Um, now I think that it will be okay. So right now it's pretty much a long espresso. Um, you can see all the thick and delicious crema that uh, is on the top. I'll just put... Hey, look, take a look here. I don't, I'll never put sugar in my coffees, in my espresso. Um, but for today, just to show you the thickness of my crema, I will put some. Do, do you hear that? This is an important sound. I will explain it to you later on. So now we can get back here. 
So you see, it gets stuck in the crema. It does. It does not uh, drown in the coffee right away like it would do with a regular coffee because the crema is so thick and creamy. <clears throat> So now it's ready. Okay, uh, now I'll show you how to clean your machine. So important, you take a towel, you put it underneath here because when you twist, it will, look, it, it goes off. The, the, there's a little bit of coffee, so simply do not make a mess. And then you go in your sink. And like this, clean the cup, and you clean this. And just so you know, you can put coffee in your sink. It's okay to do it. It's even good. It will clean the pipes. That's what a, a friend plumber of mine told me. So it's good. It's okay to put coffee in your sink. Now it's clean. Now another very important part, you have to clean underneath here. If you don't do it, the coffee, old coffee will get stuck underneath this. Look, oh, just, okay, you see it was clean and now it's full of coffee. It's old coffee. It won't always get stuck underneath there, but once it does, you'll find that your coffee tastes really, really uh, awkward. It tastes like old coffee. Actually, it tastes like shit, if you want my, uh, my advice. So uh, make sure that this is clean if you want to have a very good coffee. Another a very important thing is to leave it on. Once your coffee is ready, leave the machine on. You've heard the noise that it made uh, a little bit earlier. It's the pressure that's coming off from uh, the machine because it, it takes a lot of pressure to push on, on the espresso to make sure that all the flavors come off the, the coffee. So all that pressure that was inside the, the machine gets off while it does the little sound that um, you heard earlier like psh. so wait until you heard the sound now you know that the machine can be turned off and also when this sound uh, when you hear this sound it's mean it means that some water comes off in this uh, reservoir as you can see this is the water that I got you don't have to do this uh, every time but uh, I like to keep my, my machine clean. So this is probably why my machine is uh, still make delicious coffee after all these years, because I keep it clean. So this is it. I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, please subscribe to our channel, make a comment, and also uh, listen to our next video. I will show you how to make a delicious latte with this machine. Now I will give this espresso to my friend, the cameraman. You're too kind. Is it good? Yeah, that was very good. Okay, great. Yeah.